So I've just downloaded the new uh, beta BIOS from the ACES website. So I'm just going to uh, load optimized default and reset. This is for the Crosshair uh, 8 Hero. Alright, got in that time. So now everything is a, a stock, obviously. So I'm going to flash the new BIOS using the EZ Flash tool thing. So yeah. And you can see it's there. Come on, there we go. So now that should flash on to the board and we should be good to go. So it's just reset itself. I just unfortunately missed the end there which is a bit annoying but whatever. There we go. You can see we are on the correct BIOS now. Yeah, patch C and 2402. So now I should be able to load a profile here, um, number 3, and change the timings a bit. I'm just going to boot these timings at 3800 first and the FCLK uh, where it was. Hopefully it'll boot first time. I need to retry. There we go. Right, so we're in correctly now. There we go. Pretty much straight in at 38.66. Hopefully it boots. Nope. Might have reset my drive settings indeed. Don't want that one on the SSD. It's not detecting the SSD though, for some reason. Let's just try again. No, one second, let me just fix that. So, we should now be over 1900. Let's have a look. Yep, there we go, 1933. Very nice. Oh. What is going on and off? I'm not sure exactly what that was. Anyway. Uh, let's carry on going up. In fact, let's just uh, run a quick benchmark, see if it's stable. Oh, well, it's crashed, so that clearly wasn't quite stable. Might need the TRC loosening a bit, actually. I think I left it on 40. Which it might be a little bit low. Yeah. Let's try 52 instead. No, 
clearly not happy with that. Just ditched the timings and put them on pretty much auto of it, then the top four and you can see it has just finished doing six sets of 1080p so we are pretty stable at 1933 although the performance isn't amazing so let's just close that and we'll just see how high we can go Try 1966 next. So this is 39, 33, and 1966. Right, let's have a look. it worked properly looks like it did so I'll do the same thing again I'll run six instances of 1080p and we'll see if it crashes just opened hardware info and you can see there both the UCLK and FCLK seem to be running it uh, 1966 which is pretty good you can see the temperature is about 60 degrees just under. You can see the timings there, set the TRFC to 300. The TRC is the, the main one where I think it's uh, increased it by a hell of a lot. And you can see we're at 4.7 on all the cores. Now this someone said about the effective clock was uh, something to do with when it's on PBO so it was saying down here 4.3 even though it was like 4.6 and 4.7 up here and in CPU Z so that is uh, an interesting one to look out for in hardware info 64 anyway this has passed so I'm gonna try 2000 so I've just set 2000 and it is posting <laughs> I think above 4,000 I'm probably going to go to uh, C15 or 16 just because to keep it uh, stable. So there we go, FCLK 2000. It does look like it's stable ish like some half of it anyway come back when it's finished alright it's nearly finished now looks like part 3 hasn't finished so maybe it's not entirely stable or maybe it's just variants I'm not sure well, that was at 2000 C14 so I might try to do 4K for six of those and see what happens as well. Might crash now. See how much RAM it's using. What oh, is it crashed? No. Just to press the wrong key. Oh yeah, that's more like it. 12 gigs. I'll run 4K. See what happens. Right, it's not looking very stable, they've all got stuck pretty much where they are here. So 2000 at um, C14 is clearly not stable, I'll go up to C15 uh, and maybe try that, see what happens. So there you go, all six X265 runs have completed um, at C16 and then 15 on the other timings at 2000 so we're going to just keep going up and see what happens we're now at uh, 2033 on the um, FCLK you can see the UCLK is at 2033 as well we're still at uh, we're at 4066 C16 now and 
we're up and running six instances of uh, 4K again. So, yeah, I'll update you if it crashes or stops anywhere. There we go, it has actually blue screened. So, that clearly wasn't quite stable. It probably would be stable enough for benchmarks, um, but not any other use. So, not entirely sure what I need to increase now. Possibly TRFC to 320. Although it was setting it on auto to 300. Oh no, there we go. 320. Let's try that. Might go 16 on all these now as well. Let's stick that A4 though, actually. Let's try 16, 16, 16. See if that works. So, we're now very close to the end. Uh, 4066 C16 and the camera is derping out. There we go, it is finished, so it was the RAM that was unstable. So we're just going to keep going up. Uh, I think 4133 is next. There we go, it's completed it again, but I did massively loosen the timings. Uh, literally just so we're getting the FCLK stability and not the memory timings. So now we're going to go to um, 4100 on the memory, no, 2100 on the FCLK, 4200 on the memory. So you can see now it is struggling to get into Windows, I don't think it's got in, I think it's crashed. So I'm going to reset it. And I'm going to test PBO again. Settings I've changed is enabled it uh, in here. I've set 3200 C14 on the memory, 1T down there, uh, 280 TRFC, and C14. And then I've just set it to 1.4 volts, which is like XMP voltage. And then in the AMD overclocking, I've set uh, 200 watts uh, power limit. I don't know what these other things do down here. I've set that one to the max. So, I'm going to try that. So, we're just going to run our 15. I think we ran it three times before. Let's just get hardware info up and CPU Z. Hardware info is over there, that's fine. There's the memory timings and everything. It's very basic. So, that effective speed thing is here. Oops. So, these are the ones we want to look at, as well as the actual clock. So, let's start it going. So, it says it's running at 4.75 but you can see the effective clock down here is only 4 gigahertz so I don't know why that is must be hitting some kind of limit site power maybe I don't know but yeah you can see only 1700 points so I'll try change something else and see what happens so I'm going to increase this uh, scalar thing up to 3, I don't even know what it does. I've also set the uh, temperature throttle limit to 80 and all of these are still on 200 so those shouldn't be a problem. So we'll see what happens now. So there we go, we've got our effective clock speed and stuff again. So yeah, it's saying it's 4.7 again, but effective clock speed only 4 gigahertz. So I don't know what on earth is wrong with PBO, but it's clearly broken. Awesome in. Is it going to get 1700 again? Rubbish. Right, I've enabled a thing called core performance boost now. 
So I don't even know what that does or what it is, but it's enabled, so let's see what happens. No, 4.8. No, it's still saying effective only 4. So I've no idea what's going on. Gonna get 1700 again, I'm guessing. But it's going all, all over the place. Yeah. Enabled the core performance boost, and you can see just by itself and you can see it actually performs correctly so it's at 4.5 ish and it is saying it's performing about 4.5 and it does actually get like 1900 points as well so it is improved yeah there you go so that performance boost thing works but PBO doesn't I'll just show you what that is in the BIOS now I'll just close that now obviously it's nowhere near as good as the manual overclock so all I did was enable this here core performance boost and that seemed to work reasonably well uh, but PBO doesn't seem to work for some reason I don't know why it's very strange it's almost like there's some kind of weird power limit set somewhere but I don't really know where it is it's just normal overclocking it's infinity fabric dividers don't even know what it is I think that's just the FCLK enabled let's just try it enabled so yeah, it says AA over here, which means auto, not OC, which means it should be doing something, I guess. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, you can see we're just PBO enabled, it says it's going to 4 point. Six, but the effective clock is still only 4.25 so it's going to score like 17-1800 again there we go 1800 this time so yeah PBO is still broken as far as I'm concerned